Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim... I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at what's new with the Zim Editor. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And we'll be featuring new zaps that we add to the editor right here uh, in the main promo area. Right now, we're featuring things that were new in Zim 02 including the editor. I believe, yes, this is the link to the editor. But we've made more improvements to the editor, as expected. We had done a sort of a double launch there, and we're going to show you those. So here's how to get to the editor, like so. Hey, and the idea behind the editor is we can type in a new circle here. Oops, oh, come on. I got that bracket. Let's get these fingers going. We'll make it 100 radius and purple A. Purple, we'll dot center that on the stage and dot drag. So if we go with the test here, there she be. So that's the idea behind the editor. Uh, let, let's take you though through all of the features just as if it was brand new. So we have this all here. Here are our aspect ratios. So we can go, we're on landscape, we can go portrait. Here's portrait and phone mode. There's square. Uh, here's landscape in phone mode. There's landscape in regular. So that's what we'll leave it at. 1024 by 768 fitting inside there. You also have other libraries that we can add to this as well. For instance, uh, physics. And then we can say add physics here. And test it out. And then the circle drops. But we won't do that. We'll go back to drag. Turn off the physics. And there we go. All right, so we have this Zaps place, and Zaps are what we call Zim apps. Get it? Huh? Zim apps. P5JS has sketches. We have Zaps. Woo! All right, so here are some Zaps to test out. Here's uh, an art puzzle. Oh, look at that. And uh, so what else do we have? We have snapping. So we're, we're planning on having lots more of these um, coming up in the future, and so have a look have a look here in zaps. But that's the idea. We've got some basic ones, mid ones, and advanced ones. We'll see if we have any other categories. You can hide these uh, once we get 200. We'll also have a search on here, much like the docs has a search. So if I look up circle like that and hit go or hit enter, there's the circle and the things that we can add to the circle and information about the circle, including examples. We may make it so that we can just uh, easily copy and paste that right, right, or like have a little arrow thing here. Um, but if I paste, if I copy that and paste it in here, then I can test that and see what that um, all made for us. <laughs> and we can undo if we want to go back and test our, our back to our original. All right, you get the idea. So let's see. Um, the new thing, though, is, oh, well, just before we move to the new things, some, some old things, we can drop this down below with uh, this guy right here. So that changes the orientation on that. You can change it to white, white text over here. And this is a wrapping. We haven't uh, well, okay, let's go look at some code with wrap. Any code in basic physics. So here's the code. Lots of lots of um, comments and stuff like that, as you can see in there. And if we want to wrap those, we go like that, and then that all, that all wraps. But I find sometimes reading that in the wrap is a little bit harder than, uh, than just sort of scrolling and reading our lines. Okay, and once again, we could bring that code over if we wanted to uh, check that out. All right, so we've seen these guys. Mm, I think we did the viewing, we did the docs, we did all that stuff. If we want to clear the code, we can hit clear to see a full screen version of that. Uh, that's in a new tab. So that showed up in a new tab there. And we can also save. So if we hit save, it downloads that and we have that file downloaded. But note that when we save it, it says log, to, uh, log in to save on, on the cloud. So uh, we can do that. Um, let's do that now. So I'm going to hit the login right here. And if you haven't signed up yet, then this is where you would sign up. Okay. And it's asking for an email and you'll have to validate that email before you can log in. So just click a link on the email that you get. Check your spam if, if uh, you need to. And then we'll let you sign in here. That's my main Zim account. So I'm going to change this to a door at danzen.com account. If you forget your password, you can um, get a reminder there. 
And so we go, and now we're signed in. Okay. So um, what used to say save now says file. Uh, oh, a guide as well. So there's a guide that gives you tips on all this stuff. That's probably a lot of the tips that we're talking about here in the video. And at the bottom, there's references as to where to find more code. Also to see how to grab the code from that, control U to see the code or Apple U. And then you would copy just the code that's inside of the frame ready event. This is an editor. It's already got our frame sort of uh, set up for us. We don't usually work like this we would start here and that would give you the zim template that you would then copy into your desktop editor or laptop editor or whatever and that that has a frame on the outside and that does you know some of this stuff up here basically but that's all built for us in the editor and okay so that, that was the guide we looked at let's look at our files now oh so I've got this new circle and I want to save it. So I go to file and we can save it here. The prefix category or topic will allow us to, it's going to be alphabetical order and you may want to sort of organize your files a little bit. So the prefix does that. Let's put in lesson one and we will call this, oh, very grand. It will be called circle dragging. And we will say <laughs> some sort of information about it. Dragging circle. And we hit save. Oh, should have shown you if, if we're in that file and we hit load and didn't have any, it would tell us we didn't have any. But now we do actually have one, and that's fine. Um, and what, what has happened over here in the zaps? So over here in the zaps, we have circle dragging. Yay! Uh, has shown up now under our files. So we can fave certain things. So there I've just faved the shapes one and let me fave the snapping one. So there we have a couple uh, faves now. They, they show up here. We don't actually have to log in to see our faves. The faves are stored in local storage. So you don't even have to log in to store a bunch of, say, uh, of faves. Okay, so great, got these files. Uh, what if we wanted to make another file? So if we wanted to make another file, say we go new rectangle like this um, and we'll make that 200 by 200 and we'll make it red a red rectangle center and drag and we go and test it and there she be okay well where did our circle go let's have a think about this so the file here still says that we're on lesson one and if I hit save it would now be a rectangle so we don't want that so I'm going to hit save as new. So that's kind of how you make a new file. Or you could just hit save as new at any time. And, um, well, anyway, let's do a save as new. So we go save as new. And here we will call this one lesson two. <laughs> wow. That was a fast first lesson, wasn't it? And this can be a rectangle dragging. And we can say that we are indeed, in what do you know, dragging a rectangle. Uh, okay, rectangle, there we go. And I hit save. So now that's been saved and we're currently on lessons two, dragging a rectangle. If we wanna see our circle, we go back to here and we load our circle. And now our circle is there. Great, so that's the general idea. If we wanted to make a triangle, we, like this says circle, there's a circle there. We could always just say file, save as new, call it a triangle and hit save, at which point, um, we'd be sitting here with this circle and you can just clear it. Uh, I'm not really going to clear it, but clear it and start typing a new. Anyway, I'm sure you'll figure it out. It's a, it's a touch awkward, but it's not the end of the world. And it sort of saved us bother with making a new file and asking, do you want to save your old file and all this kind of bother. <laughs> and it, it's sort of odd. They're a little bit disconnected. Um, in that we can type as much as we want here. And if I test, it's not actually saving it to the file. You have to actually go file save. But like I said, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Here's how you can delete something. You can also now download it. So that's what the save was before. Uh, I think it said save, yeah. And so if I download it, there it is downloading it. Okay, so you got all that stuff ready for you. This is the file ID, and we're going to see that when it comes to lists. So let's go over now and take a look at our list. So here's the zaps. And we have files currently, 
and we have faves currently. We also have whatever Zim uh, gives you with the basics. Mid and this, this could be hundreds of them. So now we have a way to hide that. There will be a way to search it, as mentioned. But uh, how do we make custom lists? How do we share custom lists? So the trick is this. You hit the copy button to copy either your files or whatever you've got in your faves. Let's uh, copy our files. So a copy. And this is going to make a list, and we can call this Lessons. Here's what we've got in the list at the moment. Uh, that's all the stuff there for us, and we hit Save. Now we have, um, where'd it go? Did I just say Lessons? <laughs> I thought I said Lessons. Uh, let's edit that, that. Can I edit it? <laughs> lessons and Lessons, plural, and hit Save. All right, there we go. Um, so there's our lessons. Less oh look, we got a lesson one is lowercase and a lesson two is uppercase. Oh, that's a shame. But if we want, we can go in and edit it and just say lesson um, one uppercase and hit save. All right, there is something though to note about that. Once you make a list, so this is our list of lessons. Those are our files. Here's our faves. What if we wanted to add, say, this uh, this animate from bits right here? If we wanted to add this one with a little bit of animating, uh, there's our code for that. What if we wanted to add that bits to our um, files up here? Oh, sorry, our lessons right here. Let's do that. So uh, the way we do that is, where was it? Here. We go to the info here, and we look at its ID. So, oh, there's an easier way, sorry. We um, look at the basics. So that, that would have been one way we could have hard-coded that in there with the ID or copied it. But the easier way is to look at the basics right here, and there it is right there. So we copy this. That's got the ID in it already, plus the names. So yay, <laughs> yeah, that's why it's easier. We come up here, we hit edit, and just paste it in like so. Okay, so a little tip is anything that starts with Z is going to be our stuff. Anything that starts with E for editor is going to be uh, your stuff or somebody else's stuff. Okay, so we save that up. And now our current file, if I hit view, which is showing the animate here, that's why that's highlighted if I highlight something else. So there I just viewed, oh, <laughs> uh, I viewed our circle. Then anyway, there's the, the whatever is currently highlighted is what will show up in the view in the code. Uh, and that was the last selected thing. All right, so anyway, there's our animate, our rectangle dragging, and our list now in our lessons. It looks a little bit awkward because this is lesson one and two, and we've got just the bits thrown in there, but it does show you that we can easily add anything from down below just by copying and pasting. I could just copy and paste that stuff, come on up here, edit this, and we've got uh, some more examples. Just paste that in there and hit save. And now my list is longer. But like I said, lesson one, lesson two, and then these things. It's like, okay. Well, you can also do this. You could say uh, references. <laughs> Why did I choose references? It's got a lot of E in it. References. And I hit save. So just a bit of text in there. And we've got our lessons, normal lessons, and then some references that come along with that. Uh, we'll do a slight edit to that, and we can make this a span. So you can put in HTML. We can say style equals color colon red. And then on the end of that, we can end our span and hit save. So now you've got a red references here in our, our list. So one nice thing about these lists is that we can share them, and we can share them in a variety of ways. There's the link to the list that will sit on top of whoever else's editor. So if um, you're sharing this with somebody else and they already have their files, all their files will show up there. All of the, um, uh, the Zim files will show up there as well. However, in Teach, that's not quite the case. In Teach and in Learn, we take away the 200 ZIM files so that you can focus on your lessons a little bit better. We wondered if we should take away their files, like your students' files or their faves, but we decided not to. It might be that they want to add some of your files to their faves, uh, which they could do. 
So why don't we take a look and see what that looks like. If I click this link, uh, it, it, it looks a little bit different. First of all, the lessons are showing up there and we've got, as you can see, the references is a little bit confusing because we, we've just tacked on. Why don't we F11 to show you what we got there. We have zaps and it's just tap, tapped on the, um, the list on the end of tacked on, <laughs> tapped on, tacked on the list. Uh, to the end there and note that the list then shows up here at the very top. So whatever list you share here will show up at the very top followed by my actual copy of the list because that's it's one of my lists. But what would a student see? Why don't we log out and see? Okay, so I log out here and here's what they would see. They would see the lessons, their faves because the faves always uh, will show um, and uh, then the Zim stuff. All right, the other way to share that was with, or another way to share it was with teach. So if I put in teach there, it's slightly different. It's the lessons and the faves, and that's it. And you see how that's um, a little bit simpler to kind of treat as, you know, a learning experience, perhaps. If I had, oh, I'm, I'm logged out. I don't, and if I had my own files, if I were logged in, I would have my own files here. But the Zim stuff would be missing. Okay, the 200 Zim files. Uh, the one difference between teach and the other one is learn is say teach and we hit the rectangle dragging and I view the code. I'm able to pass that code on over here and as a student then I can start working with it, play it or whatever. Eh, or I could also cut and paste it. So I can cut and paste this stuff from here and paste it into there. Okay, so cut and paste is active. Right click, cut and paste. If I type in learn though, it's a different experience. So here's learn and we'll go to the, what were we looking at before? The rectangle dragging, yeah, I guess it was. So this still works. Uh, the editor still works over here. So I can edit in the editor. Uh, but if I go into the code, this code is, I, I can select it, but I can't right click it. I can't, uh, it's got no copy thing over there, uh, nor can I, copy this and paste it over here. Uh, I don't know what I had in the paste. I only had that in the paste. So you see what I mean? It, it left my old paste. So um, that's the difference. Learn makes the students actually type this. So they have to actually type it rather than, um, rather than copy it. Okay, so you might want that experience. I don't know, it's a, a little petty, I suppose, but you're sort of forcing them to type something in rather than copy it. All right, so that's the differences there. You can also pass in multiple lists. Um, and so at the moment, we just have the one list, uh, which is called lessons. But how can we show this? If I log into my normal Zim right here, so this is normal Zim. Note that we're still, even though I'm in normal Zim, since I have that lesson stuck on, it's stuck on the top. Here's how I edit the advanced, the basics, and, and there I have a first list. So say I wanna share this first list too. There's the list ID right there. So if we copy this list ID, what I'm gonna do is paste it on the end with a comma. So here sharing two lists and I'll hit enter. And let's just log out so that you can see what it would look like when we're logged out. Okay, so we're still in learn and we've got two lists. A first list, there's the lessons list and here's the faves. So you can always share multiple lists as well. There is a way to go directly to a file as well. So if we go info to find out about this file right here, there's a link right there that takes you to the file. Why don't, I can I copy that? Not very easily, I have to go to it, open it in a new tab. So I'm gonna open that in a new tab and note that it, it goes directly to the, um, the file that we've got there under view. If you hit code, there instead, it will go to the code for the file. If you put docs there, it will go to the docs, uh, etc. So whatever you put in here, zaps, view, code, or docs will go to that. But what I'm wanting to show you is I'm gonna take the view from here. So there's a view. We'll go back to this one and we'll paste it right in here like that. And so what we've got is we've got view this file but also include these lists and we hit enter. So here we are viewing the file, but if we go back to the zaps, you'll have the two lists there as well. 
Remember, if we didn't have the lists on the end, enter, there's the view and the zaps, those lists aren't there. So now we're back to the basics of um, whatever the 200 that Zim shows. So that means you can specifically link to a file in whatever file, actually, uh, and then also yet provide lists uh, still. Okay, so that's good. What else do we want to look at? Yeah, a little bit more info on this. Um, when you save a file, Zim will automatically parse it and figure out what commands, what Zim commands are in the file. And we'll use that for our search, or sort of a search through those those tags. And we're not quite sure how that works. But anyway, there's, there's how the... Um, you can link directly to a file. We see a bit more about it. Uh, great. And that's the file ID. So have you got it? I think that's pretty neat, huh? Um, at, at any time, you can look at any of these. And when you look at them, that means you can grab these things and add them to your list. We're not logged in, so we can't do any of that until we, until we do log in. I think that's pretty good. Uh, it was almost an explore rather than a bubbling, but uh, hopefully that went well for you. I am Dr. Abstract, and this has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. You're welcome to come in and join us at zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord. Ask any questions you want on anything. We'd love to see you there. So come on in. Zim is amazing to use. Um, it's a really, really easy code and uh, well documented, lots of examples. So we hope you find the same thing as well. Everybody working with Zim uh, seems to really, really like it. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, cheers.